Okay, so here is the replacement parts in. This is the hot side. And here it used to be over in this area, a big copper line that's set up on top of this block of where the light's at. So everything sat right up above here. So I've taken the line, since there's a lot of room over here already cut open, just went ahead and put the hot line over here so you can see. There's the, there's the new fitting that's in there. And then there's the half inch line so you can see them tied back in. Same thing with the cold. Uh, you can see one inch comes over. Uh, there's the first tie in right here. And then it comes over second tie in right there. And then down to the third tie in. You can see it's there. And then the last tie in, where is it? It's behind everything. There you go. There's the last one right there, one inch, and the last half inch line. So there's four half inch lines on the cold side. No more copper in here. Everything's brand new packs, one inch all the way across, all the way to there. And then no more copper on, this, on the hot line on the three quarter side as well. So everything's right here in the central location now. Okay, here we are in the laundry room. And you can see the line uh, that is closest to the garage wall, which is the cabinet wall. You can see up here, uh, the manifold used to be up on top where these gray straps are right there. And right there, you can see those. So it used to be up here, copper line strapped in there. And then right in there. So that copper's gone, we replaced it with packs all the way back to there. You can see the first fitting, it's coupling right there. It's strapped, it comes over, ties into this new manifold, all plastic. So what you've got here is all the points of connection. Running back up into the attic. And you can't really see up in there because it's pretty dark. But you have the four points of connection right there. One, two, three, four. Uh, these two are just stub uh, capped off. You'd potentially tie into something in the future if you'd like. But So those four what was taken apart. And, and this one right here. So it goes over the washer and then continues on somewhere else. I don't know where that goes, but so it's all tied back in plastic. And uh, we'll wait a little bit, turn the water on, see how we did. Okay, so here are the manifolds that came out of the laundry room and the bathroom. These first two, that was the cold. You can see that was the end. It was corroded. And I uh, can't tell you why, but... Um, it's not good. You can see the whole, whole thing's corroded out all the way underneath. So that's the cold manifold. You can see one, two, three, four, the four T's that uh, are replaced. So it's solid plastic. You can see the other videos on that. This is the hotline that was in the bathroom. Same thing. This is the end. It was leaking there. The one you had the little baggie under. So you can see that corrosion there. Not quite as bad as the cold line, but still that's the one that was dripping so you've got the one the two t's so it's all plastic in there now and this is out of the laundry room you can see here that one's really bad uh and my best guess is this is the hot and the reason why i say that is we got some red rings down here and uh this is the line that was closest to the cabinets closest to the garage wall so you've got that uh leak has been resolved additionally you can see down here on this one line right there um, that one was leaking as well. The rest of them look like they were okay for now, but you can see this one right here. Uh, that one was dripping, and so is that. So those are your three lines. Here's your T's. One, two, three, four. I actually had four on the contract. And there's actually five T's here, so um, just replaced all of them all the way down. So you're good. I'm going to turn the water on and see uh, how it goes.